It's Mina. Welcome back to the epic collaboration event of the season, our Pour the Love collaboration in honor of Valentine's Day. On February 13th and 14th, 2021, we have 10 amazing fluid artists who all are on YouTube. We will be doing premieres for all the episodes, so you can hop from one to the next to the next. Gail is after me. Let's get this going. Okay, so I got this cute little number two playing card, and the colors on the back are teal, blue, silver, purple, and black, and my technique is a dustpan. So we're gonna be doing that. Let me show you my colors real quick. Uh, the first one I'm gonna be using is the black. This one is Modern Masters Metallic Paint in Black Pearl. So that's really pretty. This is leaving a little mound on a mound, and everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium, and the paint, and Floetrol. It is fairly thick. Uh, this next one is Amethyst, also from Modern Masters. Maybe not quite as thick as the black. I might need to thin that one out. <laughs> That's Amethyst. This one is Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics in um, Ice Blue is what the bottle says, but I think this is actually their Sapphire Blue. So we're going to go with Sapphire Blue. <laughs> this one is also Deco Art Dazzling Metallics. This is their Peacock Pearl, which is my teal. And then last but not least, I have Artist Loft Silver. I really like this color. I've been really appreciating it against something darker lately. It's really cool. Very, very neat stuff. Okay, so this is a 30 by 30 inch uh, Convexo canvas from Frederick's and I got this one from Jerry's Artorama. This little nifty thingy is a level that HOA got me and you can see it's level which is really cool. That's nice and easy to use so I'm keeping this one. <laughs> okay so we are going to use this is a for a 30 inch canvas 30 by 30 we need about 32 ounces of paint so that's a lot of paint. Uh, I'm going to be using the big brother of the cup I used to use because <laughs> that one broke. This one actually holds 32 ounces, which is pretty much how much we need. So we're going to layer our cup now and then I'm going to do my pour and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm probably going to be pouring it off of the side right there. So I'm going to layer it from here. Okay, so we're going to start with a little bit of, actually I think I'm going to start with some of the sapphire blue. We're going to be using the silver a lot in between the colors. And I'm going to come right into my amethyst next. I'm going to go back to the silver and some of our peacock pearl. I love your squeaky gloves. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of the black in there now. And we're going to come back to the sapphire blue and the silver again. Another shot of the amethyst. Black in there again. I'll do the purple this time. A bit of silver. I think we're almost there. We probably have way too much paint, but it's okay. I'd rather have too much than not enough, especially for what I want to do. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna bring the dustpan over. As it Lee calls it, Donald dustpan. <laughs> okay, so I just wanna make sure that that's dry. 
because I just washed it and I don't want water on there. Okay. All right. Let's put a little bit of our blue in the bottom. Just kind of swirl that around a little bit. keep this paint from sticking to the metal because I want it to be able to flow really easy. Okay, that's good. Ooh, it's big. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I'm not. Okay, cross your fingers. Here we go. Okay. All right. So we didn't use everything that was in the cup, but that's okay. Pick this up without spilling it. Are you ready, darling? Okay. Here we go. do have a lot of paint in the cup actually um, okay but this is perfect this is actually exactly what I wanted to happen I'm gonna take my actually I'm gonna take this black and pour some of it in here because I want it a little bit darker this is the flow extender that's thinner around the edges in here. side this edge big empty space first and then I'm gonna get in close with the little bitty parts in there pretty good so far. Let's torch this real quick. This, off this time. this part and I like this part 
All right, let's just tilt this and see what happens, okay? Let me start and go down this way first. The weight of the paint should be fairly evenly distributed. So I'm just gonna kind of rock it side to side and walk it down the canvas. I don't mind having negative space on there at all. That's just fine with me. I do kind of want to go off that edge though, since we're there. down that way. Find the way to the paint first. I don't mind opening up this, ah, oh, there's a bug. He's on the painting. He's flying around now, okay. It's just like being outside. <laughs> to come back and get the paint all the way back over here. I'm going to go like this and take some of my paint and cover up this edge because the extra will roll off and it'll be just fine because I don't mind having that negative space there at all. That's just fine with me. I really like the Convexo canvases. They are kind of pricey, but if you buy them in a four pack, they're actually a little bit better priced. Okay, so HOA. I really like, let me get my hands off so I don't drip. I really like this, these lines right yeah. here. I like this, but I also like this. Do you think I should compress this back this way and open that up more equally or compress it or open it up even more and take some of that off? You should open it up this way. Down? Yeah. Do you not like the negative space there? I do. I hadn't thought of it. I actually really do like it. I think I want to take it back this way a little bit first and see if it, see how it looks. If it doesn't look that good, we can always go back. spread out. I like it better the other way. You did? Hmm. I like it that way. I kind of want to take the stick and just kind of make this a little bit more wispy-ish. I 
that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I like that. <laughs> Those okay. Are great. Hmm? Those are great. You like it? What you just did too. Okay. Cool. I think we're going to stop right here. I'm going to torch it one more time. And then we're going to be done. What do they call this one? Mobius. Mobius? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, Mobius strip thing over. Time travel. <laughs> So, hope you guys all have a happy Valentine's Day. HOA has been very sweet the last couple of days. And, uh, what do you mean last couple of days? Well, especially sweet the last couple of days. He's always sweet. You guys know that he's always sweet. Okay, let's start it again. And then we're going to be done. So that's good. This almost looks like a web or a wing right there. So this is pretty cool. I'm very happy with how this looks. Um, I think it's fairly balanced. I like the negative space. I'm glad I added a little bit of the darker black to the uh, base coat flow extender that I had because it was a little light before and it was looking more gray than black, which I didn't like. So I'm happy that's darker because I think it's giving us better contrast. Um, yeah. This is cool. So, <laughs> awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being with us. I will see you real soon. Okay, guys, welcome back. This is a couple days later now. I just wanted to show you some of my pretty, pretty succulents that are doing beautiful things in the sun right now and make me very happy. So I wanted to share. <laughs> my little piggy, my sea pig. She's awesome. Anyway, back to the painting. Here we go. It's uh, dry around the edges, but the inside in the middle is still pretty wet, so we're not standing it up. <laughs> but this turned out amazing. I am so happy with this. That black pearl from Modern Masters is amazing around the edges. It's nice and dark, and we have these beautiful contrasty shimmery colors on that background, which is awesome. The amethyst from Modern Masters is also really, really pretty. I like that purple a lot. And then we have the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics in the Peacock Pearl and in the Ice Blue Slash Sapphire. <laughs> and of course the Artist Loft Silver, which is doing really beautiful things. So this was the dustpan pour with that overlapping technique that gave us this really cool effect with these lines. I love that. I think that's so cool looking. So this is awesome. And the edges are nice and covered. And everything is good. I love that. <laughs> right after we finished shooting, HOA looked at it and he said it's a Mobius strip. So this one is going to be called Mobius, which is pretty cool. <laughs> okay. So thank you guys so much for being here with me. This has been amazing. This Pour the Love collab has just been so much fun because the artists in it are just all wonderful people and they're so nice and so kind. And it's just been a pleasure to get to know them all even more. So Gail Burston of Life and Splatters is right after me. So I will see you at her premiere. And uh, you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is awesome. I'm very, very excited about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. I know HOA had a, a lot of fun too. <laughs> So happy Valentine's Day, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. And uh, we'll see you at Gail's premiere. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye.